Okay. Uh, this is uh, Dr. RJB or Dr. Bruno. And uh, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit um, to expand on a subject that I talked about before. And I'm going to call this video Mind or Brain. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, when we're doing things, uh, which one is involved? Is it the mind or is it the brain? Now, definitely if um, uh, you're talking to somebody and you're discussing uh, different topics, it's definitely the mind that's involved. Uh, you know, because you have to consider things um, uh, that the other person is talking about, uh, comprehend it, um, uh, and part participate in the uh, conversation. So there's a lot of uh, mind involved in that, a lot of awareness, a lot of thinking going on. But there's a lot of thinking that goes on automatically um, that the mind doesn't have anything to do with. Um, uh, think about one that, that's uh, very common. Um, who is it the person who breathes for you when you're not paying attention? Who breathes for you when you're sleeping, when your mind is not involved? You know, so all day long, there's uh, processes that go on that we don't have any um, uh, uh, involvement in uh, with our mind. Uh, how about your heartbeat? You know, who's beating your heart? You know, so that heartbeat is going on all day long. And, you know, you can't say to your heart, uh, slow down, speed up. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. So we have natural processes that go on in our body that we don't really control. We have a, a certain amount of control over breathing. Um, I'm controlling my breathing right now because I'm talking. If I didn't control my breathing, I wouldn't be able to pre, pre able to produce sound. So yeah, I, I can control my breathing at times, but I could never do it for 24 hours a day. I'd get too tired. So somebody else, and that's our brain. Um, now, um, there's also some things that um, uh, tell us, uh, you know, how, how little we sometimes have to do with things. Um, consider baseball. Um, when a batter is up uh, at the plate and the pitcher is throwing the ball, um, uh, they have done studies by uh, connecting electro um, uh, uh, myograb uh, to the muscles of the arm and shoulder area. Um, uh, EMG is electromyogram and it has to do with muscle, myo meaning muscle. So they look at the muscles and they can tell that the muscles are, are firing uh, that control the bats when uh, the uh, pitcher's ball is only 10 feet from his hand. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure what the exact distance is from the pitcher's mound to the uh, home plate, but it's definitely more than 10 feet. Um, somebody who knows a lot about baseball can tell you all the like right off the bat, but I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm not an expert at baseball. Now, the other thing about this is the fact that, you know, once you start your swing, you can't like all of a sudden jerk the bat up and down. You pretty much are committed. So ball is 10 feet away from the pitcher's uh, hand. You've made your commitment to where you're going to swing the bats. You've made a prediction. Now, I doubt that anybody can do that consciously. These are things that are happening so quickly. The other thing uh, that I think is amazing is that most pitches are breaking balls. Um, so that the ball will come in and it will drop or the ball will come in and it will curve. Um, in both of these cases, it usually happens about around 10 feet or so from the plate. So when a person starts his swing, the ball hasn't changed direction yet. And uh, the change in direction has to do with the way that the ball catches the wind. Now, depending on the conditions that are going on, that effect can be more or less. If there's humidity, if it's a hot day, if there's a wind blowing, you know, different things can affect the ball's ability to change directions. So sometimes the pitcher is hot stuff and he can throw anything he wants and everything is gonna be a strike. Other times, not so easy. Maybe his curve is not working that day because uh, the ball's going too straight. It's not curving properly. So the pitcher himself doesn't know where this ball is gonna be when it ends up. 
and you can tell that again by watching the catcher. He puts his mitt here. All of a sudden, he has to move it there. What happened? The pitcher threw the ball at the mitt, but the ball changed direction a little bit differently, and the catcher had to suddenly move his mitt to catch the ball. Um, the batter doesn't know when the ball is going to break. Catcher doesn't know when the ball is going to break or how much. The pitcher doesn't know either. You know, nobody really knows except the fact that the batter hits the ball about a third of the time. Now, how does he do that? Again, there's there's something in the brain that's making predictions based on, you know, some other evidence that we don't really understand. And somehow it's made a prediction of where the ball is going to be and swings the bat uh, to that position. And like I said, about a third of the time they hit the ball. I think it's amazing. You know, ball's coming at 90 miles an hour and they're making predictions that take fractions of a section. The other sports are similar. You play in tennis and uh, the, uh, uh, the opposing player hits the ball to the side. You have to run to that side and hit the ball. And then you hit the ball so that it is away from the guy who just hit the ball to you. Um, again, the calculations that are necessary, fantastic. Um, the, the receiver in the football game, uh, the quarterback has thrown a ball to a certain spot. Um, he has to run to that spot. And sometimes he's catching the ball with one hand outstretched. You know, amazing. You know, a lot of sports like this. Um, and it just kind of shows uh, the fact that, um, you know, we have an um, uh, amazing brain that's able to do certain things like this. Um, I have, uh, um, uh, you know, question about things like, what about the car? Do you know how far to push the gas pedal to make your car go 40 miles an hour? I have no idea. I know that I can do it, um, uh, but I don't know how I do it. You know, um, how about turning the wheel? How do you make a turn, like a right-hand turn, let's say, or a left-hand turn? How many turns of the wheel do you turn the wheel? Um, you know, no, I don't know that. You know, this is things that the brain takes care of for me um, so that I can think about other things. Um, if I had to do all these things uh, by conscious ability, I'd probably be too busy to do anything in my life, you know. So that's what I mean by, you know, how the brain is sometimes taking care of a lot of things. But again, um, you know, if you're having a discussion with people, definitely your mind is involved. Um, you're working on things, so your awareness is involved, uh, all of these things. Um, we have the language ability, etc. cetera. Um, so definitely our conscious mind is involved in a lot of things, but there's just a lot of things that we can't take care of because we're too busy. So, you know, uh, think about these things, check some other videos out.